Welcome back to the garage and to video 9 of the head gasket replacement series for my MGTF. At the end of the last video I had the engine timed up, the engine is turning over nice and smoothly and uh, I now just need to get the last few ancillaries bolted onto the engine and then I can look to put the engine subframe and gearbox back into the car. Since the end of the last video I fitted the cam belt housing, harmonic balancer and alternator belt. The alternator belt has been tensioned, that's achieved by tightening up this bolt. That moves the alternator out, tightens the belt and then locked in place by this nut and bolt. Although fitted a little while ago I didn't actually point out the flywheel covers at the time so I'll just show you those now. As you can see I've also fitted the coolant pipes. Because all the suspension components are getting painted before being bolted back onto the subframe, I'm going to be sort of darting backwards and forwards between finishing the subframe build and finishing the engine build. Um, primarily on the engine, it's just getting the manifolds back on now. There's not really very much else to do. Um, it's really coming together. It's really getting close now. I don't see a specific torque setting for these, so they're getting done to 25 Newton meters. That basically is the same as the torque setting for the bumps. Okay, scrub that. I have just done them up as tightly as feels comfortable. This is the vacuum pipe for the fuel regulator, that being the fuel regulator. I'm gonna go and see if I can find another spring clip for that. So I shall be back in a sec. So I've decided to leave the exhaust manifold off for the time being. That will give me a bit of wiggle room when I'm dropping the body back down onto the subframe. This bolt won't go in with the harmonic balancer fitted, so it was off with the alternator belt and the balancer.
right that's somewhat annoying the standard pitch of an m12 bolt appears to be 1.75 millimeters the thread pitch on these ball joints is 1.25 millimeters i've got drawers full of nuts and bolts and i haven't got a single solitary 1.25 mil pitch m12 nut anywhere so uh, i'm gonna have to get on to google and get some ordered up as you can see i've temporarily put a strap around the upper arm and the drive shaft to keep that in place and now I'm going to crack on with the training arm, get that bolted on. That's better. Cool. Wherever I can these bolts are getting upgraded to 10.9 high tensile. So part way through the offside suspension rebuild this is how it looks. I am going to have to go around with a paintbrush at some stage and touch up the hammerite. Um, it's just the way it is, it's not as hard as uh, powder coating and there are one or two places where it's been knocked. On the plus side it's obviously dead easy just to uh, touch it up a little bit. Welcome to a beautiful Saturday, it's lovely out here, uh, skies are clear, it's a bit on the cold side but it is nice and bright and uh, I have lots of bits to fit onto the car today. Training arm is fitted, hub is almost fitted except that uh, I don't have enough to put on the top here, although just as I was setting up out here, this turned up from eBay. Yes, that will do. Here we go. So. There was no sense in buying literally two nuts, one for each hub. So I took the opportunity to just stock up on a few and somewhere in here we do have, oh some new washers as well, somewhere in here we have M12 1.25 pitch nuts which hopefully will fit perfectly. Let's try this one, yes, yes, yes I think we're probably in business with that. So you might notice one job I've done is to wrap the exhaust. This is your standard exhaust wrap, but it is covered in and this stuff. It's a uh, high temperature silicon spray. Um, obviously the aim of all of this is to keep the temperature of the engine bay as low as possible. Nice, huh? How nice are these? That's 26 millimeters. Renounce the rebels. Busy, you can just do this another time. 